think taking a glass of wine with your food every day if you like it i personally love uh, i i personally do do wine myself uh, and and i take one glass of red wine every day that's okay but uh, what is not okay when uh, wine becomes my food wine becomes my life okay everything will start going around my my wine so that's that's a problem there okay in mental health we keep uh, pressing the point that where you find a balance there you are okay You're welcome. Thanks very much, Dr. Michael, for a nice presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Osman. Okay. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you for your presentation, Doctor. And our third uh, presentation, you, um, our third presentation your, uh, will be given by Sundaram. Uh, I from learned India a lot about the you know, NLP couples entering a new breakout through uh, my program to come out of the over uh, personal level and also at the intrapersonal level. Income. Thank you very much. Here's my presentation. Thank you, Sophia. Yeah, how to protect the uh, toxic young couples from overdose of mother-in-laws <laughs> that is the topic it will be very interesting topic for you so let me adjust my screen uh, are you able to see me uh, am i audible one second uh, the screen is okay uh, one second uh, scene sharing uh, Press this one. Yeah, today is December 14th, uh, 12th, and I had a wrong calculation. And, uh, I was thinking 12:30 in the night. That is the reason I I was. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Sophia, for uh, calling Your me. Your screen is visible and, to us. Uh, now you can start the presentation. And uh, let me go ahead with my presentation. The screen is okay for you. Uh, okay, uh, I'll move it. Uh, so, how to protect uh, the marriage from the toxic in laws uh, using NLP? Okay, uh, let me uh, share you with another uh, part of that. My, my, uh, let me give my, my own background. Uh, my, I am Dr. Sundaram. Uh, uh, I am an engineer turned uh, counseling into a doctorate in NLP. Um, I'm a Chennai number one married couples relationship mentor of India, two decades of experience. Uh, I can see around now it is around 600 YouTube videos on three languages. Mm -hmm. I have a counseling clinic in Chennai. And um, uh, the present topic is a very interesting topic for you as well as for me, and it can cross the boundaries. It is a story of in-law story. What actually is happening here? What are the problems uh, they are facing? And uh, the problem which has come because of mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law, mother-in-law. That way that the uh, story goes. Uh, you know, now a lot of these youngsters, if you look at the sample of the youngsters, they have these particular um, syndrome or the problem one is they are away from the roots they are born somewhere in some part of the continent and now they are serving in some other part of the continent they also have a past emotional baggage baggage from their um, childhood from health schools memories all these un un unresolved emotional wounds unresolved uh, pain it is still there okay I classify uh, for our purpose, I would classify this uh, understanding purpose. There are three uh, generation of uh, parents. One is a radio generation parent, another is a TV generation parent, and a mobile generation of parents. And every parent is having their own value systems. The radio parents are very, very loyal to, to their nation, to their families. And uh, the TV generation value has slowly shifted. They started migrating from village to land and 
land to continents, land to and uh, within the country they were migrating. Whereas if you look at the mobile generation, they are migrating uh, against uh, against the whole planet, one part of the planet, and uh, for them, uh, the any culture is an acceptable culture. So that is how the value differences are coming between uh, the radio generation and the uh, TV generation, and also the mobile generation. That that is how you can see the difference. So this, uh, you can see that, let me share with you a case of uh, a couple, I would call them that uh, case, uh, BM Guda case, BM Guda case. So here, this is the story of a couple, uh, maybe around uh, 31 or 32 years. Then this was a young lady, 35 years old as a mother, uh, mother of a seven year old boy. And uh, this lady is, uh, was head of the department and she was very, very hard working and she has a very good name and respect. and. During that particular period, the husband lost the job and she gave the moral support of financing the husband into some other um, software learning and uh, she bought the job for him and uh, rescued him. And uh, the boy got the job because of his wife and uh, now he joined his uh, joint family of his mother. Now the uh, mother is asking, the mother-in-law is asking the daughter-in-law to leave the job and she is telling it is enough, one man earning is enough because in India, you know, the traditional country where uh, still given a choice, men would like to work and men want women to be at home. So except for IT industries, most of the cases, the culture is like here. In India, it is like this. And uh, the uh, daughter, uh, my 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 client, uh, who was my client, she told me, sir, I am only a, uh, I am only one uh, daughter for my parents, and I am son, and I am also daughter. They have they have put hard and sweat, and they made me an engineer. And uh, if they are having son, I can I can uh, give the option, but no, I will not do anything but to take care of them. She has purchased an exclusive house uh, opposite to the house because there were conditions that she these in-laws should not go there. A lot of conditions were there. And uh, these difficulties this, um, these in-laws were facing. And uh, the husband is a handpicked. Here what if you see that what actually is happening is the, the husband's uh, parents are pulling him on one side and the wife's parents are pulling them on one side. They want them to align with their own values. I will not say it is right or wrong. But from their angle, they are pulling each other. They are pulling and they are becoming puppets. Husband puppet, wife puppet. So there are many times where there are something is making dysfunctional, something which is making functional. What I mean to say is sometimes it is uh, useful, sometimes it is not useful. So that is where the people are there. And uh, this, came, this case came to me for some period and afterward they discontinued. And uh, then the next case is uh, what, uh, after six months I got a case, this is a Bharani case. Bharani is a professor in um, one of the universities here in India. And uh, he is a mother working, the mother is working as a, a professor. And uh, daughter-in-law, she belongs to the Android generation, she all wants to be funny, enjoy, okay, applying app and all the app generation, app generation, you know what is the story of this app generation, app generation only know they enjoy, they know how to use the app for everything, they press the button, whether they want mutton, they want uh, the kitchen or the girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever it is for them, uh, only app is, app is their god for them and there were differences between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law and this case came to me, then I was thinking nothing wrong in that, but I was... Uh, uh, I asked her over phone whether mother-in-law is willing to come for re-educated. Mother-in-law told, okay, I can come down, but provided it should be interesting. I told, yes, uh, it's my duty to make it interesting, but are you open for learning? She told, yes, I am a teacher, I have been a professor, and I am open always for learning. So that is the biggest point of uh, this particular point is re-education. So then when they came here, I started telling about oh, what is the difference between they are having. The difference is the communication style. It's not that the mother-in-law doesn't like the daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law doesn't like the mother-in-law. They like each other. They do like each other. They had a difference because the communication styles were different. Some of the communication styles are working, some of them. For example, uh, the mother-in-law used to shout, raise her voice. Uh, while talking. That is her value system. 
where does the daughter in law come from such a cool uh, cool background mm-hmm. where everything is sorted out very coolly they don't raise the voice if somebody is raising the voice it is like uh, uh, somebody is uh, killing somebody that is the value system so if you look at the value system the value systems are entirely different that is how the value systems are coming so let me take you to actually the school of science of nlp nlp is a neuro linguistic programming uh, if you look at this uh, graph you can see that three portions of uh, uh, the brain is always active one is the visual circuit dorsolateral lobe auditory circuit and the parietal lobe okay so according to this school of psychology what actually happens is all your images are formed in the form of wire uh wiring pleasure wiring or pain wiring what is the pleasure wiring that is when two neurons are wired together they are fired together they are always wired together that is a pleasure wiring or a pain suppose how does the wiring happens when a, when a child is born a child is like a innocent slate in a slate anything can be recorded written written so here similarly in this neuron wiring or a memory neuron memory how does the neuron memory neuron record only those things which is extremely happy incident or extremely unhappy incident that is how the all the uh, wiring takes place other all the learning takes place this is the number of wiring this takes place then let me tell you where the wiring takes place this is the three brains you know uh, the oldest brain is uh, the the reptilian brain reptilian brain is available among all the reptilian maybe snake or maybe crocodile and then you have got the mammillary brain mammillary uh, glands mother's milk gland it is available in the human being and also available in the animal kingdom in uh, monkeys and uh, in uh, your um, dog that is the mammillary mammillary brain and the latest brain is called uh, the neocortex or the major portion of the brain uh, which is always trying to get still unconnected neurons are there so suppose the upbringing is more in in the in the, uh, in the neocortex area that is ampi- uh, in the reptilian area reptilian brain for example what is the reptilian brain? reptilian brain is uh, for example for reptile if you look at the behavior of the reptile let us take the reptile behavior of two crocodiles if you throw a bun uh, in a if you go to a zoo and throw a bun to a crocodile the crocodile one two three crocodile will fight for that bun piece for that bread piece in this you can see the reptilian brain they will fight for the reptilian uh, they, they will fight for the uh, bun piece they may hurt each other they may injure ble- bleeding may be there uh, they may be biting each other but once uh, they a uh, bread is uh, taken away they sleep on each other that means they do not have any emotional circuit they got only instinct strike uh, an animal circuit the animal is only for survival they fight for survival not against each other they fight only for the bread that is the reptile that most of uh, the people who wiring or uh, reptilian brain they or uh, if you look into the auditor or if you look into an accountant if you take an army person if you take a police person these people are all no emotions at all because the reptilian brain is more developed then let me uh, talk to you about the mammillary brain mammillary brain is nothing but a mother's love affection giving taking sharing hearing if suppose the baby is born and developed in that particular um, what do you say that particular uh, environment uh, she become memory this you can use the coding coding is an example where we ask the person to close the eyes and we write down the code of the structure of the experience okay the person who's uh, demonstrating is me and i asked my volunteer to write there one of my students is writing there so structuring the experience ask the client to close the eyes and uh, think about the painful incident or pleasurable incident and all the parameters uh, can be written down and these parameters can be reprogrammed uh, and it can be uh, retaught this is like uh, you can uh, sub- subconscious mind can be uh, iceberg analogy 90% is conscious what you see is uh, for so 10% is conscious of what you see and 90% is uh, the unconscious portion what you cannot see so that that way the, this particular um, process works and um um let me show you another slide yeah this is like where mind is a biological computer please understand it is like computer it can be programmed reprogrammed that is the reason my uh, success rate is very high because very few people know about the mastery of this on in india very few people are there with this particular i have been working for the last 20 years uh, applying this school of psychology and uh, that is the results are very high 
and uh, it is something like uh, you can program your computer with the help of a keyboard similarly you can program your mind with the help of this keyboard what are the keyboard the five senses uh, in fact the human uh, mind is having a keyboard you can see that my intention is to join these two couples you can see on my brand on my heart i have this uh, brand i take okay and uh, nlp is called the software of the human mind n is neuro you know what is neuro neuro is not about the brain tendrils and language of the mind as uh, the visual auditory and kinesthetic and um, psychology is nothing but any step or a sequence or a structure is called with psychology is what uh, the layman calls or the traditional psychology calls but where we call it this one those uh, if you look at the philosophy of uh, the visual person i believe in what i see he goes only by what he is seeing uh because he is having a lot of visual memories visual circuits are more more in his uh, life that is the reason he has uh done this a lot so yeah, you can see this uh, we can see the transaction this is called a pain wiring when when one side of the visual auditory kinesthetic side of one person is in a cross reconnected with other uh, you get a pain circuit if it is a reverse it is a pleasure circuit pleasure wiring it's a pleasure wiring that is what are happens here so similarly you can see the same story which i saw that this particular secret can change the uh perceptions of the in loss and uh, i started calling uh, my mother in laws my clients who are mother in laws and daughter in laws you know i told uh, that case earlier that that case of bharni and uh, that lady i called their in laws both of mother in law and daughter in law i started taking cases for like this in this uh, case and i create an awareness uh, telling them this actually this is how actually the misunderstanding is happening it is something like uh, let us say you know japanese language i know english language uh so we cannot communicate to each other okay so what is the one way one way is at least i should uh, uh, no japanese to the extent i can i can understand a few of the accent okay it is a parallel wiring pleasure wiring okay uh either one option is i have to learn the language or otherwise i should understand the language okay uh first option is i'll respect the language that my as i have my own la- language and my own values so are the value system of some other language isn't it uh so hindi and gujarati i know hindi i don't know gujarati but i have to respect that is a language called gujarati because otherwise he will not respect my language that is where what actually misunderstanding is happening between in laws is only because they do not respect each other's language boundaries that is where uh the one one particular conclusion has come during this particular this is mostly a sort of a uh my uh, benchmark study or best practice of my two decades of uh, my experience it is not that uh, out of our research work in fact a lot of research can be done you can also invite me for your institutions maybe an online invitation you can do that where they can share all those things with you or not a big problem for me i can do it free of cost awareness program and uh, this this uh, pleasure wiring i taught to my uh, taught to my clients and uh, as a result what actually happened and they started respecting each other for example a creative uh, mother in law would always be creative she would like to do a variety of dishes she would like to uh, have variety of uh, wardrobe because we is variety they want variety whereas uh, uh, auditory or uh, say very very traditional mother in law uh, traditional daughter in law doesn't like variety she wants a very routine work same routine food routine style of thinking routine way of talking routine way of enjoyment so look at the values the value is here the routinity there it is the creativity that is where the conflict comes out and i already told you the gap between the radio generation tv generation mobile generation the same value differences you can see between these three generations also once you start respecting this this value of this particular all the three generations you can see a big difference and uh, i have found out the same thing is happening uh, in my clients and as a result a um, lot of differences have uh, been resolved and um, 
you can see this uh, case where uh, it has clearly uh, pointed out one started learning the each other because the uh, barney uh, is a mother mother in law is very 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 positive very optimistic very uh, going to do the lot of homework lot of exercises in the night uh, the same with uh, the daughter in law also and the more and more you exercise because actually it is nothing but an inner travel you have to travel within yourself and i can only guide them it is for them to travel that is reason i would say this method is successful i would not say 100% but fairly 30% 30% people who come to me you understand it is very difficult to it is very easy to convince the uh, younger uh, daughter in law but very difficult to convince the elder daughter and unless they, they are in the field of education uh, yeah that is the reason i would say that one of the reason is because they are in the field of education and uh, that is the reason uh, these people have find out a lot of uh, work results are there uh, there is a humble work uh, which i am able to join one more step one more leap in my uh, area of work that i am able to bridge the gap between the in laws which nobody has done nobody has earlier thought about it of how they can bridge it they did not come across the science i have come across this science therefore i see i am i am able to bridge this out uh, for them and um, this uh, has had very very powerful results and i uh, thank you very much for thank you for your presentation uh, doctor uh, giving you the opportunity thank you very much thank you for your presentation malta doctor sundaram do you have any queries you can ask the speaker are there and thank you very much for accepting dear delhi and yes do you have any queries uh, i would say i want you to stay please you can ask the speaker I love you. Let us uh, challenge as a psychologist. Let us all challenge this pandemic age and prove them that yes, we are a big resource for them. And that is where I end this. And thank you very much. If you have any questions, you are welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Ah, uh, thanks a lot. Given by Fasana Dayani. Sir, my doctor Sandram. Dear Fazana, are you ready with your presentation? No, no I don't have any question. Yeah. Dear Fazan, are you ready with your presentation? Dear Fazan, are you ready with uh, yes, your presentation? Yes, yes, sir. Am I audible to you? Yes. 